Hello guys, my name is Aaron and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on LaTeX programming. Now, in the last tutorial, we saw how to include a figure in the document file, okay, using the uh, include graphics command and using the uh, graphic x package in LaTeX. Now, we look at now in this uh, video we look at some of the image properties that are available in LaTeX and also uh, some one idea, one way of uh, including multiple images in in a closed pack. Okay, now let's let's see how to do it. Now, first of all, if you notice this include graphic command, I've included an option here called a scale equals 1.0. Now I'll explain what this means. Now scale uh, this command what it says what it does literally is that it just scales the image it scales the image based on its size now if you give scale if you give the value scale to be equal to 1 okay the image will be printed be, uh, printed on the paper on the document uh, exactly uh, the same size of the image suppose if you have a very large image it will be printed a uh, corresponding to its size okay if it's uh, if the scale equals 1 now if the scale is 1.2 let's say the image will be slightly bigger how much bigger 20 times be more bigger than it's actually the actual size so if you give a scale like 0.6 okay the image will be shrunk considerably and uh, how much it will be only 60 percent of this original size so that's one way okay and uh, now that's that's how scaling works okay now other than that the image also has other properties for instance let me cut this and paste it over here it's just the same notation everything else is the same as if you see in the top the only correction is that i just okay only the only correction is that i've just included the instead of the scale uh, parameter i've included the width parameter now i'm here i'm setting the width of the image to be five centimeter so if i run this okay if you run this the image is shrunk nicely with the width to be five centimeters so if you take up a scale or a ruler and measure the uh, size of this image in the paper this will be Five approximately five, this not approximately this uh, image will be five centimeters in width and if you notice by changing the width the height also decreases that's because by default when images are represented on the document the aspect ratio is preserved so if I say, if let's say the aspect ratio of I mean aspect ratio in the sense aspect ratio meaning here the width is to height ratio in the, of this image now if the width is reduced uh, the width is 5 cm the height is also reduced substantially to make sure that the aspect ratio remains the same so on the other hand if i remove width okay uh, let me copy this and paste it over here so instead of width i can also change the height okay i can also change the height if i count if i run this if you see the height is now 5 cm. If you see, when compared to this image, this image is slightly bigger and slightly wider because in this image, if you see, the height is bigger when compared to the width. Now, if the height is 5 cm, the width will expand accordingly over here. Accordingly over here. Okay. Um, I guess the height is smaller, maybe. Not a, not a big deal. You just, you know, you, I think you get the point. What I'm trying to say here is, what I'm trying to, to say here is that if the height, you can just modify the height or the width of the image, and the other uh, other property will also vary accordingly to preserve the aspect ratio of the image. Okay. Now, what if I want to change both the height and the width? Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. Now, for that, what you have to do is that let me cut this part at the bottom. Okay now let me paste it over here and let me run this okay now this is, now give me let's give give this a new reference like reference 3 okay fine now what happens is that this is the this is what happens to the image now if you look at these three previous images the height is to width ratio is maintained properly so when the images were 
uh, the, one of even the image pair when this when the images were scaled or the height or the width is altered they all alter uniformly as a reason these are proper but in this image what happens is that the width and the height are made explicitly specified by explicitly specified by us to 5 cm and 10 cm and as a reason when both the parameters are put together put together the image the aspect ratio of the image is uh, not preserved and as a reason the image becomes a little funky and a little distorted as you go now this you can see you can clearly see the distortion so uh, in general in general uh, do not use width and height unless otherwise it's necessary so unless otherwise necessary if the image does not distort very much if you when you use width and height if you use both width and height then do it if the image is distorting like this then just use width or height just one of them and have a good control over the height uh, aspect ratio second of all second of all you can use the scale option as well and that will also be helpful when you but when you use scale option the aspect ratio will be maintained yeah i have to keep that in mind okay now next thing is rotation now i have the image ready and it's looking fine now i have the position to scale it up reduce the size change the height and width okay can i have okay, do i have the position uh, facility to rotate the image yes you have and that is done uh, with these commands so let me just copy this cut this and paste it over here now what i've done here is simple i haven't done uh, what i've done here is simple the same commands everything the same figure same commands and everything just a different different label name so that uh, you know that there won't be any warning messages popping up over here okay and the command i've included is angle i mean not the command the argument i've included is angle now I have set angle equals 90 degrees. Now what will happen? Okay, I don't want to say. You just check it. You, you'll see what happens. Check it out. The image, okay, the image is same. So image is normal uh, in the same scale, scale, uh, scale of 1.0. Okay, but the image is rotated 90 degrees um, anti-clockwise. Okay, now because that's because the, I set the angle to be 90. Now suppose if I set the angle to be 180 degrees, check it out. The image flips upside down. Okay. Now I don't. I, I'm, so this way you have the option to flip the image. I uh, flip the image using the angle command. I mean rotate the image as per your wish. Suppose if you were to set this to some uh, non-standard angle, say 63 degrees. Now the image will rotate at 63 degrees in the from the clockwise direction. Okay, from the vertical, just the clockwise direction, it will be rotated 63 degrees. That's about it. Okay, now this way you have the position, you have the power to control the width, height, rotation, and the and the orientation of the image. Okay, now uh, that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we will see how to put multiple images in the same file. Thank you guys for watching. So see you guys next time. Bye.